Hey guys, Dustin here, and a few videos ago we had a lot of fun by shooting a tree with a lot of different calibers in an effort to see what would penetrate the tree, you know, so if you found yourself behind it, what would be cover or not. And by the comments, I found that I upset a lot of people. I uh, didn't realize that live trees are, you know, living beings that are like our family, and that one tree provided all the oxygen to the universe, and that they have feelings and all that. So I want to start off this video by apologizing. No, <laughs> I'm not. Look where I am. Look, we're in a tree graveyard and guess what we're going to do? We're going to do it all again. Let's go. All right, guys. So we're here with our first volunteer and Bill is still here. We just have, he's got a little bandaid on. So, cause he kind of, you know, he got hurt last time, but we, we learned that those trees do deflect the, the rounds pretty good. So he's got to be up and close hugging the tree. Um, the last tree that we shot was 60 inches in circumference, which made it uh, 19 inches in diameter. So we're going to step up incrementally. I found this guy right here, 65 inches in circumference and the hair over 20 inches in diameter. So that's going to be our first test. We'll just bump it up until something happens. Let's do it. The rifle we're using is the Barrett M99 single shot. And we're just going to be using some bulk reloaded FMJ. Well, they call it FMJ, but as we learned earlier, everything's got a steel core on 50 cal just because, well, it's awesome, right? All right. And you see how high Bill was. We're just going to aim for center mass right there. Let's see what happens. <laughs> well, I could tell before I even got up here that Bill died because of all the spray of the tree. And it looks like we did get deflection again, but it definitely went through. Um, no bullet. It must have skimmed right beside it. I figured, of course, you may want to see what happened. So, there's exit right there. Nice juicy slab of tree. All right, that's 20 inches, let's go higher. All right, so we're lucky. This tree was really close by. It is 68 inches around, which means it is like 21.6 inches straight through. So, bump it up an inch, let's do it. Bye, Bill. Man, that echoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh snap this may be a pretty short video twenty one and a half may be the magic number but we have to try again round two well I thought we wouldn't need much of a tree but I was thinking oh, 22 to 4, 24 inches well I guess 21 and a half is good because you know, go back to the other video, the round only went in just a few inches into Bill. So we knew it was close because that ballistic gel, you know, it doesn't have too much stopping power. But uh, of course, for science, we have to do the skin. And because shooting a 50 is awesome. All right, about the same spot. Let's go see. Nothing. All right, so 68 inch tree, 21 and a half inches in diameter, and we have nothing. So the, bull, the tree has stopped the bullet, and I guess that's what you need. Well, I was really hoping we were gonna get to shoot more today, but I guess that's all that it takes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be selling these tactical bulletproof tree measuring kits. And what you'll do is if you ever find yourself in a firefight in a pine forest, you can run this string around the tree. And if it's within the 68 inch mark, boom, then you're good to go. And then you're gonna have a bulletproof tree even if the 50 caliber sniper comes to get you. Wait a minute. How about API rounds? I got some API rounds. Let's see if a little fire helps get through. We have some 
50BMG API out here now. Now API has a, an incendiary, that's the eye, uh, chemical in the in the front of the bullet so that once it hits something, especially steel plate, it ignites and helps blow, like, well, cut through the metal by melting it that fast. I've got a video uh, a while back of playing with this stuff with some one inch AR500. It went three quarters of the way through it and bowled out the back. So it's pretty mean stuff on steel. That means, you know, if it was three quarter inch or below, it probably would have gone through it. Tree, let's see. All righty, what we got? Oh, it smoked. That was cool. All right, you got to see this because I think it was I think it was that one right there. It's a pretty hole. I wonder if it's warm. It looks like you can see a little bit more burn marks through it. So and we saw the smoke, so that was pretty awesome too. That's where another one was, way over there. All right, I have not checked Bill yet. <sighs> Nothing. All right, well, I was hoping to shoot a lot more and get up to some huge, big honking trees today, but I guess that's what we're gonna get. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, and that little bell icon so that you know when we're going and have a new video out. But thanks for watching, thanks for all your support, and I'll see you later. We got him!